Hey guys, it's Standard Trails with Architect here, and in today's video, I just want to touch base really quick on how to use Lumion with your Mac. And in this video, it's not going to be going through step by step how to use Lumion on the Mac, but if the Mac can actually use and render Lumion. I've had some questions and comments on if the Mac can use Lumion, and so I just wanted to share with you one of my video renders that I did for one of my projects last semester in school and then some of the images I did using Lumion as well. So it's not going to be a step-by-step -step tutorial, just more so showing you a project that I've done. So let's get started with that. So in the project that I'm going to be showing you, it is uh, a dwelling in Colorado and it was a group project. So we had to have uh, eight students come up with eight different designs for eight different clients and they're going to be in a community in a very rural Colorado setting and so we all kind of took different parts in it and we all had different clients so my client uh, they had to have specific need that needed to be met but every one of our buildings had to be under 1100 square feet and then they also had to be um, using locally sourced material and so you'll see that in my design and so the backdrop you'll be seeing of like the whole setting for our design is up in the mountains in Colorado and that design was actually made by my classmate uh, Zach and he did a great job so the building that I have in mine it doesn't have a lot of information to it mostly what it has is a lot of information all around it and so I've had questions if uh, if a Mac can render using Lumion a big Revit file with lots of information. So the building I did was in Revit and I imported it into Lumion and then I added details and added furniture and things like that and then all the scenery around it in Lumion and recorded it. But some buildings have a lot more information in them. A lot of buildings have more information as far as details in design in HVAC, electrical, things like that. But from what I've heard from upperclassmen that I've talked to um, who are working on their master's thesis and how they've done their designs using Revit, they had to do high rises. It was a big high rise project in our senior year. And what most of them did was create it in Revit and they wouldn't add a lot of those details when they would render it. They would render pretty much this empty shell and then only on the levels they wanted to show the details of the interior, they would add those details. So it made it so they could render it more quickly. So they said, and that was people who used a Windows PC um, to render theirs. And so there's a little trick. So when you're rendering things, you may not want to fully have everything inside it and ready to go because it might just really bog down your rendering time for no reason. So little things like that. But in this rendering, uh, it's very detailed in the landscape around it. And you'll see that and again, took a little over three hours, which wasn't bad. And they render even faster in Enscape. But again, this is about Lumion. And let's get to the walkthrough video that I had made. All right. So in this design, uh, in this landscape, we all kind of pulled our buildings in together uh, to create so when we would do our images and our renderings that you'd see the other houses in there. Unfortunately, this is right when the pandemic hit. So a lot of my classmates weren't able to send me their buildings so I could incorporate it all into one. But one of my buddies, uh, Ian, who his house is on the right here, he did. And so I put his house in there and then I took his house and I rotated it and different different things to it and added it around the uh, community so it looked like different houses. And then we had to do a community space which Zach and Ian both designed together uh, which was really cool. And so it was very collaborative. So this is the building that I did. Um, and this video isn't about my design. It's not about things that I did a good job on or things that I, I could have done better. It's about how this looks. So pay just close attention to what you think this looks like and if you think that the Mac did a good job doing this rendering. 
So the settings I had set this up with was realistic, and I tweaked a little bit of things, you know, uh, the direction of the sun, um, the the sky, some contrasts and things. There's so many settings you can do when working in Lumion um, and editing your photos and your renderings. So even on the video side, you can really, really like fine tune it. And I'm just scratching the surface of Lumion. This is the first time I've ever done a video walkthrough ever. Um, and so I had to kind of teach myself how to do the walkthrough through Lumion, try to have it be a good speed and not super glitchy. Um, but with all of the details it's processing, I was very impressed with the time and the quality of the video and also of the, the photo renderings I did. Awesome, so that was the video. And then here, I just have a few images that I wanna show you guys of some of my renders I did for it. And again, it's not about the quality of if I could have done better lighting and things like that. That's all things that you can adjust and do with your own style. There's so many different styles of renderings out there and renderings you can do in Lumion. Uh, but this is about the details of the rendering and the time it took. So the, in this rendering, you can see it has the, the back mountains. It's got these pine trees. It's got this wild grass all around it. It's got everything, um, some really great shadows. And this one picture probably took 20 seconds to render. Uh, I rendered a group of 12, which you can do, and I'll show you that in a later video. Um, I rendered a group of pictures that I had selected and I had edit edited and to set up all of them and have all those render. I think it took, I don't know, three minutes, something like that, just a, a couple minutes and it rendered all of them and it saved it right to my uh, computer. And because I use Bootcamp when I do this, I save everything uh, to a folder on my Windows side that saves to Google Drive and then once I go back to my Mac side, I can access those in my Google Drive and bring them onto my Mac computer. But I hope this helps answer the questions that you guys have been having. Um, maybe some of you have been wondering if a Mac can use Lumion and if it can do it well. In my experience, it's been doing it really well and I'm gonna continue using it for Lumion and Enscape and a couple of different rendering programs. I will make some uh, videos showing how to use these programs with your Mac. But for now, I just wanted to show you that it can be done. And this, as of right now, is the product of using Lumion on a Mac. But yeah, that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and supporting my channel. Please click the subscribe button if you haven't already, so that way you can be notified when I come up with new videos. Otherwise, stay safe. And for those of you going back to school, good luck. And be safe if you are going back to an in-class environment. And for those of you who are staying home and doing school from home, uh, stay sane as well and enjoy, get lots done, and do well.